Hey creatives, Karen here, mixed media artist and creative at By The Wolf Moon. Today I wanted to come online and share with you my finished dragon junk journal. Um, there's so much more, I could have gone on forever with this book. Um, there was so much more I could have added to it, but you have to stop at some point, right? So I'm calling it completed. Um, so the book started off as a children's hardcover book called The Littlest Dragon um, and I can't remember the author, I'm sorry. Um, so I've used the actual cover of the book and then throughout the book I've also included the pages that were in the original story. So I've, re I've altered the cover. Let's probably start with the charms. So just some beads, um, I've made a dragon claw holding a ball and a dragon skull there. <clears throat> this is a um, paper mache tree, um, so all paper mache that I have then painted, um, actually you, it's paper towel to get this wood grain effect which or bark effect which I really love and am a bit addicted to so lots of things I make have this um, and in the little door we have a dragon eye and that is the littlest dragon hiding in there then I have a faux leather spine and more bark on the back with the little dragon tail poking out. So cute. All right, let's have a look inside. Oh, before I do, I just want to say um, that this is a very tactile book. And my artworks, I hope, will be well used and well loved. Um, so I want them to eventually show wear and tear and things like that um, and that some of the things I do are probably not uh, what would traditional how things would traditionally be done for example I know that the beads and stuff would typically be up here so that they don't get in the way when you open your book um, but I envis envisage this book being um, used you know on your travels so not necessarily sitting flat on a table but more um you know written on on your lap while you're you know sitting in the forest or riding the bus or something like that so um you just have to forgive me for the things that i do that are not traditionally um correct all righty let's open up and have a look So, on the front cover we have a couple of little tags. So, this beautiful um, rose paper was actually the uh, fly cover, I think you call it, the first uh, sheet, fly sheet of another book um, that I was given years and years ago. And I just really love the colours in it, so I've used it throughout this book. Um, these, this paper here is a um, scrapbook paper, quite a lightweight one, definitely not a card. And then the other bits are just scraps that I've had in my paper collection. Um, I have made or embroidered a little book plate for, for um, your name to go on. And then another little tag at the back. So throughout the book you'll see these little pieces and they're actually the ends of the actual book pages that I had to um, trim off to fit the pages in the new book because I actually widened the spine which made, which then made the book not quite as wide. So um, I have used those pieces that I trimmed off um, throughout the book on, on my uh, different, the different ephemera that I made. So there we go. So all of the 
painted pages in this book are the original book pages and on some of them you can actually see through the paint I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it on camera but you'll be able to see you can see um, in real life some of the imagery um, of the original book showing through the paint and on this page it actually you can see the title which is the littlest dragon and this is just a little bookmark that I have embroidered which I really love and you can move him wherever you want throughout the book some little um, vinyl tabs and as I said all of the pages in this book are um, just from things that I've had here I haven't actually purchased papers or anything like that it's a true junk journal uh, I really felt like that kept with the theme of dragons and um, you know that sort of tactile uh, energy that I wanted for this book so again embroidered um, little embellishment here a little tag that says lizard king on a dictionary page another embroidered dragon wing here with a tag journaling spot on the back of that dragon wing journaling spot here more of the original book page journaling spots on the back and that just slides into this little pocket I've stitched various pages in the book Oops. that's just a little another journaling tag that fits in there painted page some tissue paper that has been tea stained and then gessoed so you can write on it a bit easier again some fabric which also has some gesso on it so you can journal there uh, another journaling spot there just brown paper that's been stitched some note paper that's the middle of the first signature and then this cool little pocket here which has a little tag with an embroidered dragon on it journaling space another tag here with the word flight and journaling space on the back and then a third tag here with journaling space on the back some little wooden beads here another tag here I love 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 this dragon fabric unfortunately I could only get scraps of it so um, or, or fortunately because it means I haven't used it to make clothes I'm using it for my <laughs> journals which um, is just as cool I think journaling spot on the back I love the sounds that this book makes like I said it's a very tactile book I just love running my hands over it I love that the pages stick and the sound it makes when you pull them off I know that's probably not traditionally what most people like but that's me I love it another little tag here journaling space on the back more embroidery so this is one where you can see the image um, showing through the paint the image of the original book I just really love that onto the second signature we've got some map here that has had the edges burned and um, it was actually tea dyed another little tuck spot here and this is just um, a little notepad so that's a Tolkien quote from the Hobbit it does not do to leave a live dragon out of your calculations if you live near him one should always remember that I think just a blank notepad dictionary page mm, don't you love that sound more tissue paper 
and a little pocket tied in here which has an origami dragon <laughs> and a dragon wing hiding in it so they just tuck away in there Note paper, more embroidery, note paper, uh, tag here with the embroidered dragon and some journaling space on the back and just a little tea stained envelope, slides in there, whoopsie you are tipping over, sorry about that, hope I didn't make any of you car sick then. My ex-husband says I make him car sick every time he goes in the car. Or well, used to say I made him car sick every time he went in the car with me. Ha ha ha. Anyway, um, <laughs> another little tag, just with some journaling spaces there. More painted pages. That could be used as a belly band if you wanted to slide something in there. A more map, painted pages, and that's the end of the second signature. On to the third signature, and we have a little tuck here with a journaling card, and another one, more of that really cool fabric. And they just slide in there and on this page another dragon you could journal down here I love that I love these little spots for journaling not everything straight up and down another little tag here with a dragon wing you can journal on here Tag here, journaling space on the back, and here. More map, more embroidery. Uh, you could uh, journal on here and on these bits. tissue um, with a little line that says will you teach me to breathe fire dictionary page and then finally a little envelope which has some more three more embroidered dragons if I can get them apart and a dragon wing so they all slide in there and that goes in there and that is the end of this dragon journal so three signatures each one has 11 or 12 uh, sheets of paper so what does that give you maybe 48 um, pages per signature um, and anyway I just love it I haven't decided yet if I'm going to sell it or keep it for myself um, but I think I'm going to make myself a corset out of this cool dragon vinyl and then I'll decide if I'm going to keep the dragon journal or let someone else have it so I hope you have enjoyed that little flip through and um, I will see you next time.